Golfers, you ask, we delivered. We've been reading your comments. Today we're going to be comparing irons with the exact same loft. Cavity back, distance players irons, and game improvement irons. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I'm joined by Danny Farrell, also a Master Club Fitter at the Second Swing Minnetonka location. Well, today we're going to be doing a unique test. We're going to be comparing irons with the exact same loft. Right, and thankfully Mizuno helps us deliver on that, right? So initially we have three different club heads, uh, the 921 Tour, 921 Forged, and then the 921 Hot Metal Pro. So they all kind of start out in different lofts, but we've got them all measured right up to 31. Right. right. Now. Yeah, so typically when we do our club comparisons, we'll do our ultimate video comparing all the different models with their traditional lofts because right. they're designed specifically for that type of player, for that kind of loft. Yeah. But today we're going to do something unique. We're actually got them bent at the exact same loft. Yep. So we have bent the Hot Metal Pro two degrees weaker Correct. to 31 degrees. Yep. We have bent, bent the JPX Tour three degrees stronger to 31 True. degrees. And yep. we've kept the JPX forged at the same loft at 31 degrees. So yeah. all 31 degrees of loft, will it be uh, loft or will it be, I don't know, technology? <laughs> will, it be te will, it, will, it, will it be both? That's gonna generate more distance, more spin, different launch profiles? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, every one of these irons is different in terms of the center of gravity, in terms of you know, where the weight is in the club head. Um, Groove-wise, I don't think anything's gonna touch that. It's loft is loft. But I think the most influence will be the center of gravity on the club head. Once we get into kind of the 921 Tour, we know the forgiveness might drop out a little bit. So I don't want to call it out, but my bet's on that Hot Metal Pro right now. Hot Metal Pro? All right. Well, I did initial testing on the Hot Metal Pro. I actually was really impressed with how up, how up performed, even at 29 degrees of loft. Yeah. Not going to lie. It was, it, was, it was a hot rocket yes. and just in its little sneaker profile. Yeah. So for today's test, uh, we do have slightly different golf shafts. Yep. So what we, we don't happen to have the exact same golf shaft. We can't bend our fitting components. No. Nope. That's the challenge. Yep. Is we, it's hard for us to do this test. But we do, they're all the exact same length. Yep. Uh, the only difference is we're going to be testing with the Dynamic Gold 120, the Moldus 105, and Project X. Uh, so there's going to be subtle differences in the, in the shaft yeah. stiffness. Yep. I'm pretty good robotic at, at really testing on the same shaft, regardless of what the shaft's like. So yeah. I'm not too worried about that. But I think okay. this would be a good comparison comparing. I'm, I honestly don't know what to expect. I, I, yeah. I would expect that still the Hot Metal Pro might go a little further, but I don't know. Loft, okay. loft kind of does a lot of the, the damage. Yeah, let's get you to hit some shots and see where it goes. Let's do it. All right, so we're going to get started with the 921 Tour. Now this is the one we've had to make the most adjustment to, all right, from 34 degrees down to 31. What do you see? I, uh, I don't <laughs> see a seven iron JPX tour anymore. It looks <laughs> like a six iron with a shorter, well, shorter, shorter golf shaft essentially is what it looks <laughs> like. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it definitely looks like it's got a little less loft on it. Yep. Um, I mean, I love the clean profile look out of it. It just mm -hmm. looks like it's got a little less loft. Yeah, I mean, we're losing bounds too, so let's see how we interact with it. Right, so every degree of loft that you bend, the essentially yep. stronger or weaker, the bounce is going to follow. Yeah, it's a one-to-one. One-to-one so one ratio. Yep. yep. Okay, so we got some feedback from you on look. How was feel? How was that? Still felt good. Yeah. I mean, Mizuno forged feel is amazing, so it's hard, yeah. to, hard to go wrong there. 
Uh, I was a little surprised. I'm used to seeing a seven iron hit the screen a little higher. Okay. And it definitely was hitting a little bit lower. And I can see the launch angle there at 17.4. Yeah. I think my dynamic loft was a little lower than I'm used to. I saw a couple okay. around about 21 <laughs> degrees as well, 21.4 21. on average. And yeah. then spin. I need spin. Mm -hmm. And the ball wasn't really spinning much. It was basically 5,000 RPM to spin every time. Yeah. 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 Very, very consistent, you know. So good work to Mizuno and you as well. Right. But, um, you know, let's see if how that carries through. Carry wise, very, very consistent. You know, you're able to actually hit that one pretty darn straight given the modifications to that club head. So let's see how, you know, the other two kind of compare. We'll work up to the, um, the 921 Forge first. So this is one where we haven't touched it at all. It's just loft is exactly where it should be. Okay. The Forge is a little bit larger, top okay. line on it. Heel to toe um, with. Obviously heel to toe is a little bit, little bit larger. Yep. A little bit larger sole. Okay. But otherwise, yeah, loft is uh, about, about the same there. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Didn't quite hit that one as solid. Okay. Okay, so you kind of told us what you're visually seeing, you know, head to head. Let's talk about the numbers, what Trackman's telling us head to head there too. Yeah, so I'd, be in, I'd be intrigued. I saw a couple of shots that I hit, it looked like there was a couple of the spin rate was a little bit lower and yeah. kind of went a little bit further. Yeah. And there were a couple that were about the same as what the tour was doing before yeah. with 31 degrees loft on it. Sure, sure. I mean, club head speed, about the same. Output, about the same there too, okay. But you did bring up kind of the launch. It did kind of promote a little bit lower sometimes as well. And the spin also came down too. So remember center gravity on the club heads. You know, we changed the 921 um, tour pretty dramatically. This one is just as the manufacturers want it to perform. Right. So, you know, looking at the numbers themselves, we saw a couple, couple more yards. Your delivery was just about the same. I mean, club pad, two, 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 three, face, about the same, face the path, attack. I mean, virtually a head-to-head -head test between them. Right. So. Yeah, I think if you look at the dispersion here, you can see those two that did just go a little bit, little bit further. And yeah. Yes, lofters are gonna be a little bit more prone to flyers, but even those, those clubs that are designed to be just a little bit more energy behind them, they yep. they'd be prone to some flyers as well. Sure. You can see the two sure. that I hit a little bit further left versus the ones that I hit left with the tour didn't go as didn't go as far as those two. Yeah, yeah. yeah and the tour just looked a little bit more consistent in terms of its overall shot shape, right? If we take just one of those out, it's pretty consistent, you know, left to right for us. Now, you know, as, as spin drops, the ball has characteristics to move more drastically too. So, we've got one other uh, one to put in the mix. Here comes the 921 Hot Metal Pro. All right. So this is the one we kind of, or I picked out as a possible front runner. Yeah, I mean, I remember doing reviews on this, and I remember saying that the Hot Metal Pro looked very similar to the JPX 921 Forged originally. Yeah. Um, now that I know these two have got the same loft on them, Probably now I can even. really look and see how close <laughs> they really actually are. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, Hot Metal Pro almost looks. I mean, the, the top line's a little bit thicker. Yeah. But otherwise, the, the size from the heel to toe is definitely not any la larger. Okay. I mean, it's, it's basically identical. Yeah. Sure. Sole is a little bit larger yet, but very, very similar clubs. Yep. Just now we've got more bounce on this club, though. True. Yep. Yep. We've increased the loft by two degrees. Yep. And the center of gravity might also play more into this test as well, yep. comparing from the other two. Let's see what shakes out with this. All right. That 
one was hit well. Mm -hmm. That was also hit well. Three almost identical swings. A little left, maybe, this time. Okay, so now that the, the swings are done, talk to me about, you know, which one did you like the most? Which one didn't you like? Kind of added dress and feel-wise. The, the hot metal, it felt hot. It's <laughs> it, uh, it, it felt like there was just a little bit more speed off the face. Kay. I put three swings together in a row. I think it was like two, three, four, where I hit the ball really nice and straight with that. So I was yeah. impressed. Yeah. Uh, it looked like those ones flew flew just a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. And then the last swing was just a little bit of a pull, a little bit of target. Kay. And there's that, that flyer that I talked about before with yeah. the JPX forged that worried me just a little bit. Right. But right. it performed pretty well. Um, I. I mean, the tour felt the softest, felt, felt the nicest, and as we gradually moved up in game improvement, mm -hmm. the, the irons got a little bit firmer, for okay. sure. Yeah. Okay. I mean, there's a difference between the, the hot metal versus the, the tour. There's, there's a big difference in feel. Right, right. and yep. you know, when we take a look at the numbers here, Thomas, we, we have a front runner, as expected. Kind of that, that hot metal, the ball speed came up a little bit more. We have a front runner in terms of ball speed, pure ball speed and it's the one we expected to be, that hot metal. So talk to me about, about what you're saying here. Yeah, so it's not just loft. No. Uh, we've got the lofts all the exact same, but even mm -hmm. still we're seeing that ball speed two miles an hour faster than the other models. Right. Even further, my club speed was actually slightly slower right. than the others. So right. you notice that efficiency number, that smash factor number, Climbed. was just a little bit higher. Yep. So yes, technology has got a lot to do with it as well. It's not sure. just a loft on the golf club. Yeah. It's a big piece. It's Absolutely. a very large piece to it, but yeah. there's some technology in these iron models that is, regardless of the loft, is going to cause more ball speed. Yeah, and not only does it affect ball speed, but it affects how the ball launches as well, right? Right, it launched a little higher. Yep. So the yeah. lowest was actually the 921 Forged. So that's when we left alone, played it as manufacturer specs. Yep. The 920 Tour that we bent three degrees strong or actually changed the most of it. They'll launch kind of right, right in the middle. Now kind of the, the most, the largest club head, the hot metal, launched up the highest as well. Right, and I think that's interesting looking at that hot metal because I know that last one, I feel like I tugged just a little bit yeah. and the launch would have been lower on that last swing. Right. But even still, overall, the average was the highest. Mm -hmm. And it was consistently the highest too. So you notice yeah. the plus and minus, plus and minus 0 0.4. Right. Uh, spin was, I mean, within 150 RPMs, 200 right. RPMs. And I think that's every club. That's more loft. Yeah, yeah. I agree there. I that's agree. more loft having them close to together. Yep. Um, you can see, yeah, I picked up what, four yards from JPX Tour to yeah. top metal. Yeah. So maybe it's four yards of technology. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. <laughs> right. 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 Uh, club path, face angle numbers are pretty close together. Yep. Yep. Attack angle numbers pretty close together. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so this is a big piece to it yeah. a lot of the times. And yep. a lot of times I'll ask customers, hey, what circle do you like best? Which right. one makes the most sense? Which one's the smallest? Right. Which one, yeah. So and those are the three shots for the hot metal and the purple that, that, that I feel like I hit pretty good. But then I had the one miss further right, and I had right. the one miss further to the left. Yep. So there's a reason why I don't play a game of an iron <laughs> with the speed right. that I generate. True, yep. true, yep. And then consistency, you can see the white circle was definitely the, had the most white dots closest together. Yeah, yeah, and that's visually, you know, the club head that's most similar, you know, that fits your eye for what you currently play too. So I'm, yep. I'm sure some of that goes into that too, confidence in what you play. Right. So. Yeah, so it's, it's more than just loft. Yep. There's a little bit of technology hidden in there. Yep. Um, finish off, just look at the height. Uh, I'm curious, because when we had the lowest launch with the hot metal, I want to know what the height was. There you go. Look at that. So the lowest launch was with the hot metal, but the yep. highest height was with the hot metal. Yep. Pure ball Same speed. Same loft. Yep. yep. Ball speed. So that's CG. Yep. That's CG helping out. Absolutely. Yep. Dynamic loft within a, within a degree there. Oh, nothing really to be said about that. But yeah, 
That's very intriguing that the hot metal had the highest flight yeah. because it has more, I mean, it's got more to it at the back of the club. Yep, 100%. Yep. So golfers, this was a video that you brought to us. You asked, we delivered. So let us know in the comments what you thought about the video, but let us know any other ideas you have. And let's see if we can't deliver on more great content for you guys. As always, if you liked what happened, hit the like button. Of course, we want to see those comments and ultimately hit subscribe. We'll see you next time.